Hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're well. Oh goodness. <laughs> you know what? We went on a weekend away and um, a few days, I can't remember how many days, almost a week, not up to a week, but almost a week. And when we were away, there was a heat wave, like the sun came and this is what my plants ended. A few of my plants ended up like this. They just dried up. This one suffered the most. This species is called Rosanna. Uh, it's, a, it's from the geranium family, geranium family. And yeah, the sun burnt it out. So you can, you can see it had grown and it had flowers. You can see some of the, 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 the flowers here, purple. You know, it had this lovely purple flower all over the place everywhere see yeah and then the sun came and dried it out you would think it didn't have water or it hasn't been fed in a long time it was just the heat the heat was really bad and this was the one that got hit most and then um, i got a few others down there that were hit badly so what i want to show you is when you find your plants like this don't leave them like this for too long cut them up take all these dead bits out because the plant, you know, uses a lot of its energy in growing its leaves, its flowers, you know, new stems, uses all that. And you don't want it to be trying to, to make this one work, this dead one work, when this dead one is gone. So the best thing is when you find your plants like this, take out all the dead ones and so that new flowers and new shoots can come out. Already you can see that new ones are coming out and that's because this one had you know i've been trying to find the perfect time to do this video but, but yeah so between the time i was waiting to do this video new ones had come up new ones had come up and what's going to happen is that once i trim this it will have space to even regenerate and bring out even more new ones i had two plants here um, this is a climbing one i can't remember the name of it um, i got a snip um, a little cotton you know from where we traveled and came back home and planted it and it had grown and um, multiplied okay so i'm just going to trim it out the, the whole purpose of this video is to say when you find your your pot like this don't give up don't be frustrated and don't get angry and don't abandon it don't say oh it's dead and you abandon it not necessarily it may not be dead you know trim it out take out all the dead leaves and uh, make sure that this, the soil is damp and it has enough moist in the soil but without drowning it of course and then just take out all the dead leaves and give it space to bring itself back if you've been away for a very long time and you're very certain that it is dead uh, what i would suggest is take the plant out of the soil and just check the roots may not be dead it may just be alive down inside so bring it out of the soil and repot it and you you probably save your plant don't just stay always oh, dead and then abandon it no don't do that <laughs> don't do that okay so let me take out all this while we are watching i will stand up while the trimming is going on i thought i make some corrections so one of the correction is i said rosanna at the beginning no it is not rosanna rosanna it's rosanne i think that's the way it's pronounced rosanne not rosanna and the other plants i couldn't remember the name um, it's called Nepata, Verigata Nepata, um, Glychoma Nepata Verigata. Yeah, and it's a ground ivy. It's an amazingly beautiful plant. Very good for as a trailing, you know, where you have your hanging pot. It's so beautiful. And it's also called Creeping Charlie. And another name for it, people call it um, Runaway Robin yeah runaway robin it's absolutely lovely you must have seen it um, if you um, google the name you'll find it it's just a lovely lovely plant anyway going back to trimming all the dead leaves you know it's always good to trim all the dead leaves and you give your plant space to regenerate to bring out new leaves and bring out new flowers and do well so something else i do after i have taken out all the dead leaves is to feed it I like to feed it to help it you know be nourished so that it, you know just in case the soil has been 
there's no more nutrients in the soil, then the, the food I'm going to give it would help to nourish the soil and help to nourish the, 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 the roots and also just support it in, in growing again. That's what, something else I do. Another thing I do is I try to water the leaves. If I'm at home when the sun is hot, 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 or it's going to be a very hot day, I try to spray water all my plants early in the morning, like cool off the leaves, spray water it, and then after the sun is gone, spray water it in the evening to cool off the leaves. Not necessarily watering it down to the roots, but just the leaves, just spray water it. Some people may not do this, but I do. When the sun is scorching hot, I break my rules. Um, especially if I come out and I see that my plants are thirsty, you can see that they are begging for, for water. Then I do a quick spray over all the leaves um, just to help them out. It just means that they are dehydrated. Um, yeah, so you can see how neat the pot is after taking out all the dry leaves. Uh, it does help, it does really help. And you don't need to lose your plants when you find all the leaves dried out. You can actually save it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you have a pot that looks like this, um, don't you know forget the plant. Don't um, be discouraged, and you know don't think your plant is completely dead. Um, just take out time. It doesn't take any. 10 minutes at the maximum um, you know just snip and tidy it up and take out all the dead leaves and the, the plant will begin to shoot out new shoots and new leaves um, because it won't be spending its energy trying to get this one and uh, feed this one to bring it back alive it will spend its energy producing new shoots and new flowers so again thank you very much for watching if you found this valuable do like do share do subscribe um, join the family we are growing um, and then leave me a comment it'd be nice to hear your thoughts on this video um, yeah um, and i'll see you on my next video bye for now and god bless